In this video, I will show you how to repair and restore a laptop computer. The model of this laptop is Dell Latitude E6400. So watch carefully. I have two broken laptops of the same model. One is almost devoid of parts. Only the motherboard is left. And the other is complete, but the motherboard is broken. And what you see now is the laptop with almost no parts. We will test the motherboard. If we can still use it. I installed him with DDR3 RAM with 152 MB for testing. And the LCD I will use is also defective. But it can still be used just to see if the motherboard is still working or not. Let's test. If you see he's open. So we can use it. To be replaced with the laptop we will restore. Now we can start the restoration. But before that, let's first get rid of the unnecessary ones. Such as the LCD cables of this laptop. I will also remove the LCD cover. And I will replace the cover with the included LCD. I'll take that from a broken laptop of the same model. Let's wipe a little first to get rid of the dirt. After we wipe and remove the dirt. Let's remove the BIOS battery attached to it. Let's see if it still works. And if there is still a charge. We will use an analog tester to test. I will try to measure the value of CMOS battery using analog tester. Let's set it Atlas 10 volt DC. Because the value we will read in the CMOS battery is 3 volt DC when we read something. 2.5 volt DC to 3 volt VDC. He is still intact and can still be used. If we don't have a readable value, he may be broken. No value. Meaning the CMOS battery is defective. What is the use of CMOS battery in laptop system? He has many uses, such as holding our BIOS and time and date settings. Even if the laptop is dead, and even if he doesn't have a laptop battery installed, he's the one holding it, so that the custom setting we created does not return to the default setting. Every time we turn off and turn on the laptop, I first removed the DVD ROM to clean around the mount before I reattached it later. After we remove and clean the laptop we will restore. It's time for us to disassemble another broken laptop. Its motherboard is defective. And this is where we get the parts we can still use on the first laptop we cleaned. Let's disassemble and get the parts we can still use to restore another laptop.
after we get the parts needed. Such as keyboard, RAM, hard disk, DVD-ROM, CMOS battery, WLAN, and LCD, let's start to build and restore the laptop using the previous laptop. Let's get it on. After we connect the LCD, CMOS battery, WLAN, and RAM. Let's try to open it first, before we attach all the necessary parts. The reason we need to do this is to make sure that all the parts are intact and working properly, so that we don't have to disassemble again in case a part doesn't work. In that case it's okay, and the laptop works fine. Let's continue assembling the laptop. Let's install the hard disk, DVD-ROM, keyboard, covers and battery. after we connect everything. Let's test again.
while the laptop is okay and can be used. I hope you have learned something from our topic today. If you have some questions please just comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please hit the notification bell as well. So you are always updated whenever I upload videos like this. Please like that too guys. Don't forget my channel. Piolo Milby. And see you on my next video.